Hi guys, I'm Lauren and in this video I'm going to show you how to make social media videos from start to finish. I'm going to give you my templates so you don't have to stress anymore. I'll break this up into sections so we'll cover everything from planning, filming, editing and posting. Get your pen and paper at the ready and let's get straight into it. Which of these videos are you more inclined to watch? See what I mean? Think of your thumbnail and title as your one and only chance to gain a viewer and subscriber. You need to grab their attention instantly. There's this thing on YouTube called CTR, click-through rate, and the higher the click-through rate, the better. This tells YouTube's algorithm that people are really liking this content and to push it higher up the ranks. If you're starting out, here's my advice. Create two thumbnails and titles, put them up in a poll on your Instagram story, and let your followers, who are also your target audience, decide which one they prefer. And there you go, you have your answer. Now, before I ever begin filming, I already know what title I'm going to try to rank for. So I search it up on YouTube, and I watch the first three videos that rank in search because that's my competition. I take note of what works and what doesn't. For example, if I find myself fast forwarding parts that are boring or unnecessary. And lastly, I think about how I can bring more value. Now I need to work up a script. Firstly, I write out the bullet points of what I want to cover and then I just flash those out. So just remove any parts where you repeat yourself because they don't add any more value. We want to keep it short and sweet. And lastly, now we just need to put these paragraphs in order to tell a story. We need a concise beginning, middle and an end. We need to be able to hear and see you. Now, it doesn't mean that you need to go and invest in softbox lighting or even use a lav mic. You can use your phone, face a window, and try to film in a room with lots of furniture, and if possible, a room that's got a carpet or a rug, as all these things will absorb sound. It'll reduce echoes and make it easier to hear you clearly. And if you're doing a voiceover to dub over some footage, shut the windows and doors and get under your duvet. Record yourself under there for the best audio. This is obvious, but you're gonna need to familiarize yourself with your script. You'll save yourself a lot of time cutting out the oohs and the ahs and the edit or you can use a teleprompter you can find them on amazon for as little as 50 pound not sponsored by the way so you want a visually appealing background something that's easy on the eye and there should be a decent contrast between yourself and your background in broadcasting it's widely advertised to wear solid colors it picks up better on camera than if you were to wear it let's say a striped or a polka dot dress so save those wacky outfits for instagram you can film horizontally or vertically, it's up to you. Either way, you can repurpose all that content using Veed and resize any video in seconds. I'll pop a link on screen now for my video on how to crop videos. Moving on to FPS. Now, if you don't know what this stands for, it's frames per second. And the higher the frame rate, the more slow motion you can add. You should film 24 frames per second if you're doing a video like this where you're just talking to the camera. But for anything active like surfing or skiing or even swimming, you should film at 120 frames per second so you can slow your footage down. Being comfortable in front of the camera takes time and practice makes perfect. Here's one of my first videos on camera and you can sense how awkward I am. It is our last day in Budapest and next up is St. Stephen's Basilica. And now here I am totally relaxed talking to you. With each video your confidence will grow and soon you'll be in a room full of people talking to your camera and you won't care one bit. Redo things until you feel like you've got it right. Don't film anything unless you feel like it because this will pick up on camera. You need to up your energy on camera to make your video more engaging. And after a good take, leave a long pause so when you go to edit your video, you know where to cut by looking at that waveform. This is something so small but super noticeable. If you look away from the camera, you'll break the scene and the mood, so just hold that smile a little longer. Make the first few seconds really stand out. The hook determines if somebody wants to watch your video or not. Mr. Beast and Yes Theory are two channels that you should study to see amazing examples of hooks. Organize your footage into folders. If you're making a video of a 48 hour trip, you'll have a folder for each day. And then within those folders, you should create subfolders. This is going to save you a lot of time in the long run when you start to cut clips. Remove all blank spaces where you pause or you use oohs, ahs, and ums. Use jump cuts, or if you wanna hide the jump cut, use an L or J cut. This is just where you layer another clip on top of that video that you're already cutting. Make your video fast paced and engaging by adding images, overlays, and video transitions if necessary. Add visual context so people know what you're referring to. Now, if you use music, make sure you're allowed to. You don't wanna get a strike for using copyright music. Always make sure your music fits the scene, so don't play a crazy intense techno beat over a supermarket montage. And if you need to find free copyright free music, I will link my video on screen for this now. 
Whichever editing software you use, I can guarantee there are built-in shortcuts. So whether you use Veed, Premiere Pro, or Final Cut, Google the shortcuts and learn them ASAP and save yourself a lot of time when it comes to the edit. Subtitles are part of SEO, which basically means they help your video rank in search. It broadens your audience for those who watch without audio or for those who are hard of hearing. Always add subtitles. During your video, if you mention a previous video, link that on screen and also ask your viewers to like, subscribe and follow you on other platforms. Put all that info on screen and also in the description. Check when your audience is online. To do this on YouTube, head over to YouTube Studio and in the left hand column, click Analytics. Now click Audience. If you scroll down here, you'll see when your viewers are on YouTube. Where you see the purple, that is when the majority of your audience are online. You should post right before this so that when they log in, it will pop up on their homepage. So we've already covered title, but the reason I'm mentioning it again is because your title and description need to contain the keyword that you're trying to rank for. You need to naturally include the keyword in both and repeat them as many many times as possible in a way that makes sense. This will optimize your video and increase your chances of ranking in search. Share the video once it goes live. Create micro content to promote it on all other platforms, such as a post, a poll, a story, or a reel. And again, make this micro content engaging to draw viewers in. Reply to every comment, good, bad, and indifferent, as all this increases engagement on your video and tells the algorithm that viewers are really interested in it. So again, this increases your chances of ranking in search. If you have a weekly or a monthly newsletter, attach your product or business, embed the video within that email and get those views up. Give your video some time to perform and after a week or two, check your analytics and see how it's performing. Where is the audience retention dropping and can you see the reason why? In future, you now know how to avoid that. Also, you can change out the thumbnail or title if you feel the click rate through is low. And that's how to make social media videos. I really hope you found this video helpful, guys. If you did, go on and give us a like, subscribe for more social media and editing content, and leave me any comments or questions down below, and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.